Hi, this is Brian Bates on December 17, 2007. And this is Levante Brown interviewing Mrs. Tompkins. When and where were you born? I was born, um, actually in a taxi, can't believe it or not. I was born in, in um, 1953, August the 2nd of 1953. And when, when did you live in Manchester? Like? Uh, my parents were living in Manchester when I was born, and so I was born and raised here, literally. Um, I went to uh, Manchester School, elementary school, when it used to be on, what was that, Beaver Avenue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then when they built the new school where it stands now, I was actually in the first graduating class from the new school. And at that time, it used to go up through the sixth grade. So it used to go yeah. kindergarten through the sixth grade. So I was in the first graduating class, my sixth grade class. And then I went from there to Oliver, Oliver High School, for a couple of years. And then I was in the scholars program, so I went to Perry from 8th grade through um, 12th grade. That's where I graduated from, Perry High School. Where did you live in Manchester? Like? Uh, on Sedwick Street. Lived all my life on Sedwick Street. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Our, our address used to be 1505 Sedwick Street. And then... Um, after I was married in the early 70s, my parents built a new home, but they built it next to the old place. So I, uh, their new address became 1511, but I actually, it was never my home per se. Can you tell me about your earliest childhood memories? Um, I remember walking to school a lot. You know, we used to, to walk to school, and on days like this when it was really cold, you'd have on all these clothes and the big galoshes, and, you know, and you'd have to walk to school. And, of course, have snowball battles on the way home. Yeah. Can you tell us about your favorite games you used to play? Oh, favorite games. That's easy. We used to play Tops. Tops, Kingfish, and It. <laughs> Can you describe what your family did, for, did together for fun? Going to the drive-in theater was always a big thing for us. And you would, you know, put your pajamas on and get the blanket yeah. and sit in the back of the car and, you know, have popcorn and all that sort of a thing. Um, and then at home, we used to play, always play, um, like, there was this card game my mom used to like. I can't remember the name of it. But um, we used to play games at home. Um, we used to play hangman a lot, like word games a lot. Can you tell me about holidays when you were a child? Yeah, Christmas was always a biggie. Mm -hmm. My mom was, was really, my parents were both very, very big on Christmas. My mom especially. The, the standing joke with us was that my mother would decorate any um, object <laughs> or any surface. <laughs> and then my dad worked on the railroad, and so he built a great big train platform around our trees. And so every year, you know, we would have to get the yeah. platform, and we'd get the trains out, and you'd get all the little people. You know, it was always fun to buy. We'd always buy, like, a couple of new things to put on the platform every year. So Christmas was always a big um, holiday for us. What was special about Manchester? Like, what was so special in the neighborhood? You know, a lot of things. One thing is that most of the people that live here then, their, um, see, their parents had lived here. Like my, my mom and dad, they live in the house that my grandmother had purchased, that my grandmother and grandfather purchased. And the other thing about this is this, that's special is that everybody kind of looked after everybody else. Um, and to this day, I mean, most of us that grew up together, even if we're not friends and, you know, even if we don't talk to one another all the time and that kind of a thing, when I see somebody, no matter where I am, if I see somebody that I grew up um, with in Manchester, mm -hmm. you know, we always hug, we stop, we say hi, you know, because it's, it just fostered that sort of there feeling. There was always love in the air. Yes. Yeah.